Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm starting a new sketchbook today and one of my favorite things about that is designing the first page. I love setting the tone for each sketchbook with a fun cover and maybe an inspiring quote that serves as motivation on the days I'm feeling lost and out of reasons to create. I start off with planning how the composition is going to look with just some strokes in the air, not really putting pencil to paper. Another great way to do this is to thumbnail all the different ideas you have in your head on a rough sheet of paper and find out what works best. But today I decided to do more of a go with the flow process and build on the rough idea that I had in my head without getting too caught up in the details. Once I'm happy with it, I get into drawing out the rough sketch with my pencil. common supplies I use in my sketchbook are my watercolors. I find them to be super easy to travel with and they also happen to be my favorite medium because of how versatile they are. So for this first spread, I wanted to draw out all my most used art supplies on the bottom and then write out a little quote on top. The quote I'm going with today is something Albert Einstein said, logic will get you from A to B, imagination will take you everywhere. I just used the second part of the quote because of space constraints and the fact that I think that that line communicates perfectly what I would like to read every time I open my sketchbook. I've included some gouache tubes, paint brushes, palettes and of course my trusty ink pen, pencil and eraser. All things I do not go anywhere without. Once I'm happy with the sketch, I begin inking it out. I use a variety of different pens for inking depending on what I'm making. But for today's spread, I'm going in with a micron pen for all the art supplies and a fountain pen with waterproof ink for the words and letters. Keeping a sketchbook has improved my skill so much. It pushes me to try new things every time I sit down to draw. For example, I only got comfortable with doing some kind of writing or lettering from the pages I did in my previous sketchbook because I pushed myself to write in a couple of spreads there. I'm still nowhere close to where I want to be, but I found this one font I was able to draw out decently and get some of the proportions right for it to look better than just writing in my own handwriting in my sketchbook. Each spread improves your skill in some way or the other, no matter how small. You only realize it when you look back two months later and realize how easy you find something you used to struggle with. I used to be terrified of drawing in my sketchbook because I wanted every page to be perfect, something I've learned to let go of. 
Not every page in your sketchbook is going to be something you're insanely proud of, but I now know that there is always a way to fix any mistake I've made, either by working on the piece for longer or painting over it with an opaque medium and starting over, or even cutting another piece of loose watercolor paper to the same size of my sketchbook and sticking it over the page to start afresh. There are no rules in a sketchbook. It's your place to creatively explore and express whatever you want to. The sky's the limit. Once you realize that you have the power to fix any mistake you make on the page, you stop being afraid to fill in your sketchbook. All those empty, unopened sketchbooks you have staring at you will be filled with all your thoughts and dreams, a documentation of your growth as an artist.
On this left side, I've kept it simple and drawn a small post-it to just write down my details in case I ever lose the sketchbook, so that if the person who finds it is kind enough, can get in touch with me and return it. I hope this video inspired you to start off a sketchbook of your own. Whatever your skill level, I promise it is something you will find so useful, whether it is to capture moments from your daily life, some ideas you have when on the go, or just a space to create some personal art for yourself without the pressure of deadlines or client feedback. And I'm done. I love how it turned out. The texture of this paper is so gorgeous, it adds so much to the illustration. More than anything, it makes me excited to create, which was exactly what I wanted this first spread to convey. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked this video, please like, share and subscribe to see more sketchbook and art content. I'll see you in the next one.